Hi everyone and welcome to another unboxing video. As you can see, the boxes are piling up. I really need to go through these. Um, this is like a couple weeks worth of send outs. What I will do is either I will split this video into two because as you can see, this is obviously a ton of stuff and I really wanna show you what's inside these boxes. So I might do two parts, we'll see. So I hope you guys enjoy this unboxing video and I've got a lot to get through as you can see, so let's get started. As they say, uh, the best things come in small packages, so I'm gonna start with the smallest one first. This one is by House of Lashes. This is actually a brand that I became aware of on Instagram because a lot of people were using their false lashes in their Instagram makeup pictures. Opened up the box and all the lashes are inside. These are so sweet. They come in this really cute pink and turquoise packaging. I guess you can put your lashes in there. There's some place to put lashes, but that looks a little bit bulky, but there certainly are a lot of really cool lashes in here. These are called Noir Fairy. Okay, it says developed in USA, made in Indonesia. Can't tell, these ones look so pretty. Can you see that? These are the Noir Fairy. They look very, very intense and beautiful. These ones are called Pixie Lux. So these are the Noir Fairies. You can see how those have like multiple layers. These are the Pixie Lux. These are in the plastic. Hopefully you guys can see that and it's not reflecting too badly. Sweet Romance. So I'm actually really keen to try these out. There's also um, an eyelash adhesive in here. It says it is latex free and waterproof. For me, that's really important. I cannot handle latex glue anymore. Like the dual glue that I used to use, I can't use it. These ones, oh, these ones are so gorgeous. These are called Temptress. You can see those ones really, really luscious and long. So yeah, I will link uh, all these companies if you're not, like if you haven't heard of them before, I will link them below this video so you can go and check them out if you're interested in any of these products to try. So thank you so much to House of Lashes for sending those through. I'm really excited to use those in videos and you'll definitely see me use them because they look really gorgeous. So right now I'm gonna open up, I actually got two packages here from Criolan. So that is actually how you say it, Criolan, that's how you say it. Um, and that is like a theatrical brand that they specialize in theatrical makeup, but you can definitely use it for regular makeup also. Like their, um, their eyeshadows are really long lasting. That's their trend look, I guess. Their upcoming trend look for maybe fall or something. The first box is Super Color, which is I think a face paint. So there is a face paint in here, which is covered. Whoa, okay, bright blue face paint. That is interesting. I guess it has something to do with that trend look. They probably used this to do that trend look and that's why they sent me this product. And also in here are two, or there's a nail polish, a bright red nail polish. This one is the nail color in Sensually. I think this is the High Gloss Brilliant Lip Gloss in the color Vamp. So this is a really bright, intense red gl uh, gloss. And I think I haven't shown you guys these, but these lip glosses are just incredible. They have such amazing pigment, um, like a color payoff that's just incredible. Like I have already a few of these, check this out. You see that? It's kind of more like a really high intensity lacquer. It's more like a lip lacquer. Um, the gloss is quite sticky, so for some people that might not be a good thing, but it means that the color lasts longer because it's not going to smudge as quickly as a really thin gloss. A lip, like a pencil in here in a red color. So there you can see the pencil, and this is in the shade Color Code 30 and it's called the face liner. And then there's also in here um, a glitter in the shade Petrol, and I can't really show that to you because it's open, but it's just this really bright turquoise cosmetic glitter. Wow, that's really cool. Cool Moon, so I guess this is their other kit. More products in here, wow, well, there's a lot. Okay, so this is the Glamour Glow in the shade Pale Tan. 
So there you can see that. So this looks to be like a shimmer, sort of light. Oh yeah, this is like a really light shimmering highlighting product. There's actually a little brush down here. Let me just grab some of this with this brush. Oops, I grabbed a bit too much. Okay, maybe I should use a different brush now. I've got like a streak of white there. <laughs> but this looks like it could be really nice highlighting powder. Can you see that? Here I've applied it a little bit streaky just because I'm using this brush that's in it. But this looks like it could really be nice. Ooh, I quite like that. So this is the Glamour Glow in a shade Pale Tan. Really good for pale skin gals like me. All right, let's keep going. There's another eyeshadow in here. This is the matte version. A lot of their eyeshadows are matte. So this is called Matte Caribbean. It's like a sky blue and that actually looks very similar to a color that I already own by Krylon. I think I already have this shade, but this is really cool. It's like a nice light, very, very light pale blue. And there's also the Metallique in here, which I guess is like a metallic cream shadow. And this is in the shade Sparkling Silver. So this is like a silver metal eyeshadow. Ooh, that's really cool. Although I don't really like silver eyeshadow. It just always makes me look a bit sick or something, but there is the color. You could use this for different things. You could even use this for like face painting or if you're doing some kind of a crazy look. I have to speed this up a bit. Okay, this one is the High Gloss Brilliant Lip Gloss in Silver. So it is a shimmery silver lip gloss. Okay, it looks to be transparent with a lot of chunky silver glitter in it, which then there's also in here another nail polish. This is in the shade Adorable, which is also silver. So I guess this whole box is all like silver metallic. This one right there, you can see that. So that kind of goes with that theme. Also in here is the Shimmering Event Foundation. Oh, I think I already have this and I absolutely love it. It is a shimmering... Like, it's almost like the Max Strobe Cream, if you know that. Like, you can get, let me just get some of this out. It comes in a pump, and then you put it on, and it doesn't really have any color at all. But when you put it on your, um, on your skin, it just kind of leaves this really dewy finish. You could do this underneath your foundation, or if you're using liquid foundation, you could mix some of this in with your liquid foundation to give it a gorgeous, luminous glow. So this is the uh, Creolan Lip Stain, and let's see, the color is called Dance. That looks really pretty. It's like a light pink gloss. Okay, whoa. That to me doesn't really look like a lip stain. It looks like more like a matte lip cream. Um, so lip stain is maybe a little bit deceiving that word, but it looks just like a really, like a creamy finish lip color. Then I have another lip stain in here. This is just the name of the product. And this one is called, whoa, this is a really cool color. This is Rock. All right, get some room here. Gonna do that one right beside the pink one. So there's the red one. I think this is a lipstick in the shade Catherine. Catherine. That looks pretty, it looks like a nice nude shade. Do a swatch of that. Wow, that looks really... This one does look like a sheer color. You can see it there. But that one definitely looks more sheer than these ones. Like these ones look more like opaque, actually. Um, there's another lipstick in here called Mila. This is again the sheer one. There is that one. I can't even tell what color that is. It looks like a grape color. Let's swatch that one. Right there. Ooh, I think that one would actually look good with what I'm wearing because I'm wearing this kind of aubergine purple smoky eye. And there's one more in here. I'm guessing this is another one of their lipstick shears. Yes, it is. And this shade is called Audrey. Ooh, there is Audrey. Wow, Audrey. You are one sexy lady. Okay, so here's that one. That looks like a sheer coral right there. Well, wow, it's really pretty. It looks like a really juicy reddish coral color right there. So that is all the Creolan stuff. There is some more um, like press pictures and stuff. And 
I will probably have to read up a bit more about what this collection is actually all about. So thank you so, so much to Creolon for sending over those products. I can't wait to use them. The next box I have just opened up over here is by Makeup Geek. So a lot of you guys probably know Marlena here on YouTube with her awesome channel. And um, she started a makeup line, I think a couple of years ago. And so she has just sent me her some of her product range. I'm gonna show you this. It's like packed full of stuff again. Whoa. Okay. I guess she sent me so many eyeshadows. Holy smokes, this is like a ton of eyeshadows right there. These are her singles that I think you can stick into a pan. Um, like if you have a eyeshadow uh, palette. This one is called, um, what is this one called? Moon Dust. Okay, Moon Dust, that looks like a nice sort of brownish taupe color. Ooh, pigmentation is pretty good. There's that one. So this is Neptune, it's like a bright, almost like a periwinkle blue. Yeah, let's get some of that. I think this one is matte. This one looks a little bit chalky, but matte eyeshadows are hard. There's Neptune. This one's really nice. This one looks so good for like smoky eyes. So this one is Nautica. So this is honestly my first impression like as I'm swatching them. Obviously it's gonna be different when you apply them to your eye. Sometimes a swatch can be deceiving when you apply it to your eye. It's gonna have a different uh, payoff. But that one looks really good also. This one is kind of a shimmery, they kind of remind me of the MAC Luxe Pearl Finish. Like a little bit shimmer, in them but not super frosty let's get this one this one's called shima shima oh this look really pretty whoa good color payoff looks pretty good so far they look really pigmented homecoming eyeshadow this kind of looks a little bit like a satin taupe or something from mac but let's see that one. Ooh, that one looks really nice too you can see that there this one does look like a matte and this is called peacock there's that one matte ones i can't really give a full like well i can't on any of them but i have to try these out hmm not not sure about the matte ones but i'm definitely going to be testing everything out and letting you guys know so obviously there's a ton of eyeshadows in here thank you so much marlena i cannot wait to try your line i think it's really cool that you know, she's like a YouTuber and started her own business and it's like really successful business now and she has like employees and she's created jobs and I think that's just awesome, you know, like that her YouTube channel has kind of led to that. This one's called Poolside. Look at that color. Looks like a bright turquoise or something. There's that. Wow, that looks so funky. Let's get some of that. I'm running out of space to swatch. That's so pretty. There's also some lipsticks in here. She told me that they are working on reformulating these. I'm not sure, but let's just get one of these. This one's called Innocent. Let's get that one. So there is the packaging. It has the little Makeup Geek slogan right on the front of the lipstick. I think that's really cute. That one looks pretty glossy and creamy right there. Tensity is not as strong as maybe like the Creolan ones that I just showed you. Let's get a really bright color. This one's called Captivating, so I'm hoping that this is a bright color. Okay, this is a red. See, I went by the name and I was right. It's a bright color, so that looks like it's a bit more... Ooh, okay. You see? Wow, they're really creamy. I just swatched that and it kind of broke. Ooh. Not sure about that. I think she she is she did say that she's form, reformulating them. It's kind of wonky now. You can see that. That's too bad because the shade is really pretty. Gonna try those out a bit more, but right now the lipsticks do look a little bit too soft to me because you know if you're swatching them and they break off, that's not that's not the best sign to be honest. Let's see. This one is called Delightful. You can see the color there. It looks like a mauve pink. That one looks nice. And this one also doesn't seem to be as soft somehow. Maybe there's gonna be like variations between different colors. 
There are some pigments in here. This is called, um, let's get this one, liquid gold pigment. Packaged in a little thing like that with the Makeup Geek logo on the front. It doesn't have, it doesn't have a sifter, so you do have to be careful when you open it so that you don't like shake it around. Let's see that, wow, that, <gasps> wow. Check out that color. Did you see that? Wow. That is a gorgeous greenish gold. That looks really cool. This one's called Insomnia. Let's just, ooh, you can see that. This would look really pretty layered over a black base because as you can see, it's like a duochrome finish. It's like brownish, bluish, greenish. And if you put it on top of a black base, the colors, the different like reflect colors are gonna come out much, much stronger. The only thing is that like, it does seem like there's a little bit of spillage when you close and open these pigments. I, I kind of wish like she had just made, instead of having a large opening, having like a longer tube, kind of like the MAC pigment so that you get less surface area on the top where pigment can fall out. There's just so much in this package right now that I don't think I can show you everything. She also sent me her gel liners. I'm not gonna swatch those because that would be a little bit time consuming, but I will definitely be like using a lot of these things in upcoming tutorials. Thank you so, so much, Marlena. I cannot wait to like try your products and you know, good for you for making your own business out of it. I think that's incredible. And yeah, so that's Makeup Geek. I don't wanna spend too long on each brand. So let's move on to the next one.